Hi, Duncan Epping, yellowbricks.com. Today I'm going to show you something which was introduced as part of vSAN 8.0 and in particular with the vSAN Express storage architecture. For those who haven't read about the vSAN Express storage architecture, make sure to go to my blog. I read my article about that particular new architecture that was introduced in vSAN 8.0. What I want to show you today is what happens when we create a RAID 1 configuration and when we create a RAID 5 configuration in a cluster with four hosts. The big difference between these types of configuration, of course, is the RAID configuration that is going to be deployed. But compared to the original storage architecture, what we're also going to see is that there is a slight variance here. With the or original storage architecture, what would happen when you create a RAID 1 configuration is that you will see two data components and you will see a witness component. This is something that has changed with the express storage architecture. We no longer will be seeing those witness components as the layout of the data itself helps with determining who owns the data if anything happens to the network. The other thing that we've introduced in this particular release is that we have a new type of rate configuration, an adaptive rate mechanism for RAID 5 specifically. If I create a virtual machine on a cluster with less than six hosts, what is going to happen for a RAID 5 configuration is that that configuration is going to be a 2 plus 1 configuration, meaning two data blocks and one parity block. So we're now going to create that RAID 5 configuration and then we'll be what looking at the virtual machines uh, specifically. As I said, for RAID 1, we should not be seeing a witness and for RAID 5, what we should be seeing is a 2 plus 1 configuration. The other thing that we will notice as soon as we start inspecting these objects is that we have a RAID configuration at the top as well. This RAID configuration that we see at the top is the performance lag, and then at the bottom we should be able to see the capacity tier, the capacity lag itself. So as you can see, a RAID 1 configuration at the top, this is the performance lag, and then at the bottom we see the RAID 1 configuration with the RAID 0 configurations underneath, and this is basically the regular RAID 1 configuration that you will see. One thing to point out here is that there are no witness components anymore. The layout of the data itself determines or helps determining who owns the data if a partition or an isolation occurs. Now, when we look at the RAID 5 configuration, as I've already said, we no longer will be seeing that 3 plus 1 configuration, but in this particular case, we will see a 2 plus 1 configuration. If the cluster would be larger, than what we are seeing here. So if the cluster would be six hosts or more, what you would then be seeing is a four plus one configuration. So not a three plus one configuration, but a four plus one configuration. And that is basically what we've introduced as part of vSAN 8.0, the express storage architecture. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.